Hey, this, this is Deja and Tay. Welcome to our channel. And today we're going to be reacting to Employees vs. Customer Public Freakout number 47. And um, today we just wanted to do something funny. Hello. So, um, this, this uh, employee just told me that I have to leave this restaurant. Is that right? Yes. Because, because I was sleeping. Yes. Is there a federally mandated law pertaining to not being able to sleep in a restaurant while Who's my asleep? mobile device that I'm recording on right now is charging? Unfortunately, you cannot do that either. Because um, uh, you can sit here if you order food and eat. I did. I, sleep in I did order food. But you cannot sleep in the restaurant. Really? You know, is there? It's, a been, it's been. He just contradicted himself. Uh, it's called lo loitering, right? When you sleep and um. Places uh, in restaurants and stores, you're not supposed to uh, do that. So this customer is wrong. And, you know, I, sometimes these customers become annoying when they say customers are always right. But they're not. You're not supposed to be sleeping in there like you're homeless. Yeah, but he just said, he just said, if you pay for your food and you sleep there, and then he changed it up and said, Cause you can't sleep there. Because he said he was charging his phone. And but he, he said he did buy food. He did buy food? That's what he said. Oh. Uh, we'll not being able to sleep in a restaurant while my mobile device that I'm recording on right now is charging? Unfortunately, you cannot do that either. How's it charging? Because um, uh, you can sit here if you order food and eat. I did, I, sleep in a, I did order food. But you cannot sleep in the restaurant. Really? You know, is there it's a... Been, it's been four hours since last time you slept. And, yes. and I was... Yes, and you're sleeping. Okay, is, yes. is there is there a law against that? Well, according to my boss, I cannot let anybody to sleep in Who, here. Who's your boss? My boss is not here. What's your boss's name? I cannot tell you. I cannot disclose you that. Do you have any paper documentation giving evidence to myself, Bronson Hayes Edgerton, that what you're telling me is the law? Now, they be so, I'm sorry, but they be so extra. Like, just take your L and leave. He just said you can't be doing that. And you over here trying to go back and forth, back and forth. He said you can't sleep in here. You should be extra. He's not going to give you his people's name. Corporate number is online. I don't really don't know how all this started. Especially the court. Oh, I think he sent an employee to him to tell him he had to go or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, there's not much I can tell you, but I just follow what they told me to, to, to do. What's your name? My name? Yes. It's Raymond. Raymond? Yeah. This is the gentleman that told me. What's your name? Jay. Jay? This is this is going on YouTube. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. And did, oh, get your, get the camera out of your face. Out of my face. Yeah. In my face now. Break out of the store. Yeah. Oh, no problem. I don't mind leaving. This is going on YouTube. Sure. Because what all of you just did is illegal. Well, you, what? You, 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 you can go call the police. You can call the police and remove it. You can call the police? You can call the police and remove it from here. You know that, right? Wh which country are you from? That's not, that's not of your damn business. And you're not supposed to ask me that. Really? really I'm sorry. Get out. Sorry to keep asking, but what does, what, what, what does that have to do with him telling your ass to leave? What country is he from? It don't matter. You work in America now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What? Now, now I pissed you off. Yeah, now get yeah. out. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. It's going on YouTube. I don't. I oh I don't. So I was coming to discuss the ones that didn't come off, the $40 and 10 and then also I was thinking that maybe it was for Catalina machine that wasn't working because there's also a $30, when you spend $30, there's supposed to be a $10 Catalina and that didn't come either and I did pay $32 each transaction. All of them over there is 40 I already did. I know the 40 is 10 but then there's also an additional savings that's supposed to be 30 and 10 and that's a Catalina. And so it's Where saying, it what I'm that? saying, it's online. So if you go to like the Catalina.com and stuff, it's on there. Then you have to download that. And it's not just me that. doing this deal. I'm telling you that there's hundreds of people in Oregon right now getting the same deal that are getting the $20 per and transaction. some things on there that are actually fraudulent. 
No. Uh, uh, the email has gone out to all managers and PICs stating that there are some things coming off there off that website that are fraudulent. Yeah, but the fact is that the Catalinas are supposed to be printing ten dollars for every forty dollars if your total hits forty dollars is what the thing says. If your total doesn't matter how much cash you pay because coupons are like that's cash, exactly, you guys get refunded. No, that's exactly what it states. You have to spend at least forty dollars in order for it to spend. You get forty dollars in merchandise, but you don't have to spend forty dollars. You have in to cash. spend forty dollars. I don't think that's what it says. Do you have your coupon policy or anything? <laughs> Exactly what you're saying. It's not my coupon policy. It's the Catalina coupons policy. You have to spend. It says spend forty dollars. You get have a ten dollars coupon. Have you tried to even do that and see if it would print? It because does. I don't think it's it working. does print. Because everybody else is getting the deal at all the other Fred Meyers and it's not having a problem. It's just here. No, it does it the same way everywhere. That's like, what did you say about the coupons? You said one for purchase. That means one for transaction. Is that what you believe as well? It depends on how you look at it. It says per purchase. You said one coupon per purchase. Per purchase. Okay, and that means per purchase per item, right? <laughs> to an extent, per transaction. So it's only letting you do it one per purchase. Yeah, per product. So, um, are you going to do the $10 off 40 and the $10 off 30 or no? No. So I guess I just need to refund everything because it's not a good deal if I have to spend over $100 in diapers. Okay, then I'll have them bring it back, your coupons back up, and then That'd we'll just awesome. do it that way. Thank you. Uh-huh. Mm. I mean, they have them right there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is it on her hair? Yeah, I actually I spoke to him and uh, he said that I know it's not illegal to have dogs, but he just doesn't want to just food for us. Now you have it. It's it's actually by law we have access to to everywhere, but you can deny us. Right. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to videotape it, and I'm going to give you the log, and I'll send the videotape to the ADA and make a complaint. And it's about twenty thousand dollars fine. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's fine. But you have the right to deny anybody, but those right. are the laws. Many people have service dogs for many different reasons. They're very well trained and they're trained to come to restaurants and be out of sight. Nice. I mean, they cannot deny uh, service dogs, but I feel like if you're going to bring your service dog, you should probably eat outside, outside. not inside, because some people don't like dogs. Some are um, allergic, and I feel like you have to really think and respect what other people will feel. But again, you can't, nobody can deny having, uh, you know, when you have your service dog. So, yeah. But being out of sight, about hair going everywhere. Well, she doesn't shed. She actually shed this dog, and that's why we just have a dog. Okay. But that's okay because we like to post videos on people that deny us. That way it goes all over the city. Okay. And people are just coming to see you. We normally have tables outside. It doesn't matter, it's illegal. It's, it's a law, it's illegal. It's the American Disabilities, they have laws for us, so that way you can deny us, you can report it. Will your so owner speak to us? Yeah. I'd like to get the owner on the video tape too, and I know. No, he's not in here today. Oh, so you're not in here. I'm going to call him, yeah. Hmm. You want to call him and tell him that you have the law card and you have the law? And you've read the law? Yeah, he's, uh, he told me. We did it before, too. Because I know a lot of fake service dogs, so it's kind of confusing, and it's kind of, a, you know. I'm like, I'm but I want to make sure I have the scope. Marino. And what's your owner's name? I'm not going to say that. So, uh, you can talk to him directly. Do you have a card with his name on it? No. Do you have a card for the restaurant? Yeah, okay. So, what's the name of the restaurant? El Bodegón is right there. And we're at, what town are we in? Because we're, we're, in, we're in Florida visiting. You, you should know where we at. What town is this? Coco Village. I just want to make sure we have all the cards before we report you to the ADA. Okay. 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 And my name is just what I'm trying to talk about. Okay. And I'm right here, they deny us, and if you still away, then it'd be aggressive. Mm -hmm. And we'll still make sure the ADA knows how to get to the ADA. Is that a problem? Thank you. You were the one telling me who to go? You were the one? 
you are you the one? Why are you recording? Why you the you the one telling me to go? <laughs> I'm telling you to back up because why? I have a sensor. So why? I do have a sensor. I don't really know much about the sensors, but they do have a sensor, like she just said. And I think if it goes a certain minute, they could get in trouble. So I feel like the people that's there are extra and everything. Why you just can't go in and talk to the dude? We need a sensor. Um, they have a sensor on drive through You know, I guess it's a t it's a timer on how long the people uh, in the drive through can stay. So when you stay in there arguing with the employee, that sensor, the timer could go off. And they could get in trouble. They could get. I think beans. I, I really don't know. If you guys know more about that, please let us know. Um, Caesar. Ranch is good. Yes. What? You have a problem, sir? You have a problem, sir? Why are you looking at me like that? That guy. But I mean, you are recording us and you are not allowed to. But look, the girl saw just back up. So I said, why? Why should I know all what she suffers of? We have a sensor from there to here. But long. but the g g lady in front of me, what what is my problem with that? No. I understand. I apologize for that. Yeah. Okay.